All right, so this video is going to be a little bit differently. This is going to be a little bit of a rant. I want to talk about the Tommy Fury Jake Paul fight, my thoughts on it, and why I think that Jake Paul's trainers are. I'm going to be honest, like, I'm really upset with Jake Paul's trainers, and I'm not a Jake Paul fan, I'm going to be honest, as you guys seen on my Twitter, I usually shit on the guy, but I kind of just feel bad for him, and I'm going to explain why, so if a lot of you guys that don't know that have ever taken up a mixed martial arts or any martial art, usually, at some point, you get very good at it, you know, that's the truth, it's like, sometimes, you know, not even necessarily that you're good at it, but you start to understand it, and you think that you're, like, the next Bruce Lee, it happens to everybody, everyone has an ego, and it's really up to, I think, my opinion, like, trainers and people close to really lower down your ego. And to understand to become an actual mixed martial artist or just a martial artist i guess in jake paul's case but humility is definitely a very important thing because jake's boxing ability is good despite what happened on sunday jake is still a good boxer it's not right to be picking fights with basketball players you know retired ufc fighters and claiming you're that guy i get it winning fights i'm sure that's a huge ego rush i've experienced this myself like whenever i would train martial arts i'd be like hey like thinking i'm that guy thinking i could just beat anybody but the thing with me is like when i'm training jujitsu i'm training with other other guys that will easily humble me within seconds so even if i get those moments thinking like i'm the next habib you know i know at the end of the day i'm not because there's always a black belt ahead of me or something like that that is going to kill me and the thing with jake paul is his team has severely deluded him and it's very upsetting to me and i think this is going to be a big problem and what really upsets me is i think jake paul overall i'm not gonna say he's a nice guy but i think he's a loyal guy i don't think that he's going to just abandon his team which is something that i think he should do which we're going to get into what i think he should do in the rematch but so for those of you guys that don't know his main Main coach is BJ Flores, which I will say I want to first give them their props before I actually go into them. I think they are good coaches for setting up Jake Paul. They really set up Jake Paul good. He has really good fundamentals. He really has a good idea of how to use the jab, how to gain power with his strikes, and they did a good job, I think, overall training him fundamentally. But in my opinion, I think Jake should have abandoned them in hindsight a little before the Anderson Silva fight. I think okay, you got the Tyron Woodley victories. Okay, I think from there, at the end of the Tyron Woodley fight, the second one, he should have been like, all right, you know what? Let me get a new trainer. You know, even if you want to go work with them. At some time okay fine but get a new trainer learn some new styles learn some new things because at the end of the day jake is never going to be able to outbox tommy and that's something that i think his team is responsible for i think they gave jake the idea that he could outbox tommy away from him He's not a great boxer, and I'm a great boxer, and that's what you're going to see Sunday night. I am a fat kid in a basement right now. How am I spitting more facts than his trainers were? Look at my prediction video, and everything I just said went down. And you're telling me that his coaches that he probably pays, like, I don't even want to think about how much he gets paid for, did not tell him this. Jake came in there with the game plan of outboxing Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury, who has been boxing since the age of six, probably has been boxing before he was talking. And I don't mean to get passionate about this, but it's just like these trainers are in my opinion clearly in this for the money i don't know maybe they're not in this for the money maybe they're in it for clout or maybe they're just shitty trainers maybe they're just genuinely nice guys and they're shitty trainers because they have fucked up like they fucked up big time with this fight they gave jake a terrible game plan but in my opinion i think jake should have gotten a trainer after the tyron woodley fight because to beat an experienced guy you need one power which jake has jake has a lot of power we've seen him knock out guys like tyron woodley clearly he doesn't have enough power i think to knock out a dude that is fresh in his career we saw that with the anderson silva fight which i mentioned in my last video I I think Jake's power is really all it's amped up to be just because he didn't, couldn't knock out Anderson when he landed bombs on Anderson. But the second way to win against a guy that has a lot more experience than you is variety, is being unpredictable, being unorthodox, which is something that guys like John Jones, Anderson Silva, Tony Ferguson, some of the greatest of all time, have done very good. You know, you see those guys kind of throwing a lot of weird things, you know, knees, switch kicks, flying knees, spinning elbows, you name it. And obviously, it's a little bit harder in boxing. I get it. Boxing is just punching. It's a little bit more difficult to have so much variety. Normally, at the end of the day the better boxer wins but i would like to see jake implement a new trainer you know to kind of get a new style you know you see ksi ksi is pretty good at his style i don't think he's a good boxer but he at least mixes it up he has a weird unorthodox style which i think helps mask a lot of his failures in my opinion like the way that he bounces a little bit unorthodox you know and obviously he has incredible knockout power and i think jake should do something a little unorthodox i'm not saying you should have that bouncy style that ksi has but he should definitely implement something and i think maybe you should start with doing a little more awkward combinations you know K KSI is pretty good at throwing awkward combinations. He throws the right hand a lot, and I know a lot of people criticize him, and for the most part, he is making a mistake because he telegraphs the shit out of it. But if Jake Paul could not telegraph that right hand, maybe throw two right hands in a row, just straight right hands, yes, it sounds ridiculous to you guys, but you guys are like, oh, you're supposed to throw the one-two, traditional. No, people are used to the one-two. You should throw two ones, you know, two twos, something like that. Start with a right hook, something random, and really work on that. And I think if Jake wants to win the rematch, he's going to have to take like a month off, like eight months off. Fuck the KSI. 
DSI fight, fuck the Nate Diaz fight. If he's serious about getting this W back, he either has to take the warm up fights of KSI or he has to just take off of boxing and really learn. Now, you mostly learn when you're off training camp, so I think the best course would probably just be taking a long period of time off. But I think right now is the best time to make the KSI fight. Just make it for the summer. Let's get this over with. But let's move on. I want to get into the coaches and what infuriates me so much because the clear game plan for me was to go forward, throw shots to the body, and mix it up with Tommy. Because, like I said, you got to be unorthodox, you got to be unpredictable, set up the shots to the body, get Tommy guessing, you know, throw feint. And Jake did well going forward for the most part. And, like I said, Tommy is a guy that does well fighting backwards. So that's why I picked him to win the fight. I thought if he went forward, it'd be easy night for Tommy. I thought if he went backwards, it would be kind of close, but I thought Tommy would be able to edge it out, which is what happened. And Jake in the fight at times where he would throw body shots did have success. He landed a massive left hook by going to the body. So I hope you guys could trust me and know what I'm talking about. But it just seemed like to me, and it seemed like according to Jake, that his team's plan and his team's game plan was literally to just outbox Tommy and or or just land a miracle overhand right that I think the guy in the back row would be able to tell that he was going to throw that right hand. That was telegraphed as hell. And then the shots didn't land. I mean, and then that's why Jake lost the fight. The shots didn't land. They were just counting on those shots to land. It didn't land. To me, Jake Paul has been filled with delusion for the longest time. You guys have seen me tweet about this. You guys have seen me talk about it in videos. And I'm not making this video to shit on Jake Paul because like I said, I, I'm trying to say how I think he should win the rematch. I'm more shitting on his coaches because look, I think that Jake at the end of the day, all he does is go in there and fight, right? He did his thing. He tried his best. Okay. But specifically, BJ Flores is not an idiot. He has been in boxing for years. He knew that Jake wasn't going to be able to outbox Tommy or maybe he's just a moron. Maybe he's just a moron. I don't know if he just wanted to gas Jake up for, you know, clout, money, all this. I don't know what it was, but to me, it was clearly a bad game plan. And like I said, I gave him his props. I think he's a guy that was perfect to set up Jake Paul, a guy that was perfect to teach him the fundamentals. I think he's really good at that. But Jake would do 10 times better if he would just throw his strike straight as well. Like he's throwing big looping overhands. Jake would just throw Hail Mary overhands that Tommy would obviously miss because he has been boxing since he was like five years old, like some crazy shit like that. I said this in the video, I would bet a lot of money that he is better on the inside. I think we saw that in this fight, the that he was ducking those overhands he seemed pretty comfortable in the pocket at time and tommy had the perfect game plan i mean he he did everything that i said that he should do in my prediction video i think i was like one of the only guys to say that tommy fury was going to win this one so i think i deserve a lot of credit here you know not to pat myself too hard on the back but at the end of the day like i said i think that he needs to work on landing straight strikes more important most importantly mix it up to the body because we saw actually tyson fury have trouble with this against deontay wilder in the third fight that's why wilder won the first round he was going to the body confusing tyson jake needs to do that he also needs to be a lot more unorthodox a lot more unpredictable and i think he should just get new trainers because his trainers have been yes to men since the day he started boxing if you guys don't believe me watch the outfits that they wear every single time they wear problem child merch that should tell you enough how much they are dick riders like i am just getting pissed just talking about them just because i used to give them the benefit of the doubt because i think like i said i think they were good for the fundamentals and look i get it you have to back your guy at the end of the day jake is the one making the decisions yes but it's your job as a trainer to come up with a good game plan but who knows maybe he thought this was the best game plan maybe he thought that landing the power shot was the best game plan maybe he knows something that i don't know maybe jake is really terrible maybe jake is just literally a terrible boxer that stands no chance with tommy fury and their best chance to land some hail mary overhand i think they should start thinking outside the box i think specifically jake should start thinking outside the box and get some new trainers i think take even four months off work with a trainer work with them every day and if you don't want to abandon bj flores okay keep him around but get a new guy or at least spend a training camp or something with a new guy and then come back to him i don't know it's it's really up to jake i don't think jake's gonna do that he does come up to me as a loyal guy which i could respect at the end of the day i get hard just to abandon these trainers that have been with you for day one i'm sure that they're not all terrible i'm sure that they don't want jake to lose i just think that they kind of neglected the game plan i think they neglected the fight i think bj was just kind of like let's hope for the best here and i get coaching is a hard job i get it and i don't mean to shit on bj even though i am pretty much shitting on bj the whole video and if the truth is that hey he thought this was a great game plan and legitimately thought this was gonna work or i'm wrong and maybe they had some other game plan that jake's not saying okay then i'm sorry then i do feel bad but it's just the truth i think jake needs to find a new trainer his trainer Trainers are specifically training him to fight like a boxer. Jake is not going to win against Tommy Fury like a boxer. If I were to summarize the whole point of this video, that's really how I'm going to summarize it. Jake cannot fight Tommy like a boxer. He can't fight any of these high-level guys like a boxer. He has to be unorthodox. It'll work against MMA fighters. He'll be able to outbox them, but he's not going to be able to outbox any real boxers. It's just not going to happen. Like I said, work on some unorthodox strikes, orthodox combinations, be a little unpredictable, throw at random times, work on having awkward timing. And look, I get it's easier said than done, but I think that Jake needs to do this in order to win the rematch. But let me know what you guys think. You guys, 
have Jake Paul winning the fight. I don't I don't even think the fight was really close in my opinion. I gave Jake Paul the third round and the eighth round. Yes, a few of the rounds were close in between, but I thought overall Tommy was pretty much in control. I think Tommy will probably win the rematch. But like I said, I don't mean to shit on Jake Paul. At the end of the day, he got in there and I respect him for that, but I don't respect his trainers as much. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.